something in you. But I don't know what it is. Now, how many of you are familiar with this line? <laughs> For those who don't know, these are the lines of Dhananjay Hitachi, the world champion of public speaking, 2014. But, did you, know, do you agree with this statement? Yes. He says yes. But, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder, is it really true? You look at someone, you observe someone, and then you don't know what it is. You kidding me? <laughs> Research has shown that more than 83% of our communication is based on body language, facial expressions, hand movements. In fact, your body speaks more than the words you say. So I definitely believe that it is possible to find out what it is when you see that something in someone. With that, a very good evening, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and dear guests. Allow me to discuss with you a few scenarios where I'll show you how the body speaks more than the words we say. Let's take the first scenario. With a raise of hands, how many of you would love to know whether your husbands, wives, <coughs> unmarried people, boyfriends and girlfriends is hiding something from you? Nobody? All in an honest relationship. Thank God. But you can take this advice. You may not be a lie detector, but you can definitely spot one when you observe. How? Look for micro expressions. Now, micro expressions are something that flashes across your face for a fraction of a second, but it reveals the truth underneath a lie. So, if a person is lying, it will be characterized by his or her eyebrows moving towards the center, creating wrinkles on your forehead. If a person is lying, he or she will try to rub his nose or his mouth as if to prevent the lies from coming out. Another micro expression that you should definitely look out for is the eye movements. So if a person is lying, you will notice that he or she will look up to his right more than often. So people over here who wants to know if their bosses are speaking the truth because I term them to be highly suspicious, <laughs> you need to look out for these body languages. Well, let's take another scenario. A person may not lie to you. Accept it. I've seen a, people, a pack of honest people over here who are into honest relationships. So people may not lie to you. But a person may not be interested in talking with you. Post a conversation, many a times we have realized that the person is listening to us just for the sake of being a good person. On my first date, I did not realize the person across the table was not interested in me, in my conversation, which I had known the language of body back then. So ladies and gentlemen, if you really want to know whether the boy or the girl that you have your eyes on is really interested in you, Look out for the body language that they give. First and foremost, look out for their legs. A person's legs will be pointed or crossed in the direction that they want to go or the person that they like to follow. So in the next conversation, if you see people crossing their legs away from you, take care. It is an indication they might not be interested in your conversation. Such as, people give more signs to show that they're bored and not interested. How? They'll yawn while they're talking. <laughs> they'll blatantly look everywhere. Yes, the sky is beautiful, birds are flying. But they will not look directly into your eyes. They'll scratch their heads. They'll cross their arms. They'll cross their legs and anything that is there to cross. They will stretch. <laughs> Uh, not romantically like this, but they will stretch beyond what is romantic to show that they are not interested in your conversation. What does that mean? Simple. Dates over. Pack up, go back home, and start swiping on Tinder. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, you see, it's very easy to decode the body language. 
body language or non-verbal communication is so spontaneous that you can easily spot one. <coughs> By now, if you see me looking up to the right, it means I am faking something. The next time you observe the micro expressions on the face of a person, the body language on the face of the person sitting right across, you'll know he or she is not interested. So that's so easy to find out what it is. And in Toastmasters, we all are trying to master our communication skills, right? But that's apparently. If 80% of your communication skill depends on the body language, then can't I safely conclude that it's the body, sorry, the body language that makes the difference. It is your body language that makes the difference in your speech. And once you decode it, then you can all tell with me that I can see something in you and I know, I definitely know what it is. Over to you, Mr. Toastmaster of the Day.